Hey bud, we really shouldn't be making anything Hitler related. People are gonna think that we're Nazis. We're talking about making a toy, not invading Poland. Making a toy out of him is literally making an idol out of him. I know that we're not Nazis, but there's an implication. Look, I've got superhero toys. I need a super bad guy to fight. And all things considered, I could have picked much worse than Hitler. Worse than Hitler? I don't think so. Everyone knows he's the worst. Oh, really? Give me 15 minutes. Bam! Presenting the evolution meter. On one side, you have Hitler listed as basically the devil. And on the other side, you have the spectrum of evil, listing Hitler as just another dick. So does dick stand for dictator? Yeah! I've got you on the fence, because I know you're going to hear me out. No, 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 no. Let's fix that right now. Regardless, you can't convince me that Hitler wasn't a bad guy. I'm an American. I won't change my mind on anything, regardless of the facts that are set before me. I'm dug in, and I'm never going to change. No, he was definitely a bad guy. But people overreact when they hear his name. You'll think he was the worst bad guy. So let me ask you this. Why do you think he was the worst bad guy? Well, for starters, he's a mass murdering dictator. It's common sense. That's true. Everyone knows this. But dad, common sense is a liar sometimes. Mao Zedong killed way more people than Hitler. And if I asked for a Mao toy, people might shake their heads, but they ultimately wouldn't dwell on it too much. In fact, Mao killed so many people that he made Hitler look like a bitch. Okay, but Mao wasn't trying to take over the world. Hitler was clearly doing that. You're right again. But others have attempted this before. Julius Caesar comes along, blows everybody's nips off with his conquests, and he's remembered fondly. In fact, he's remembered so fondly that it makes Hitler look like a bitch again. Genocide. Hitler was killing people due to ethnic reasons. Okay, you got me. I didn't even think about the genocide. I guess I'll concede. Oh, wait. One more thing. Didn't the U.S. kill Native Americans for ethnic reasons? And what's that called again? Isn't it called... Dare I say it? Genocide? If I asked for an Andrew Jackson toy, it would be okay. It seems to me like if you win a war using genocide, it's somehow all right. But if you lose a war using genocide, then it makes you a bitch. Okay, if we make the toy, we'll be sure to do it in good taste. We don't want to be accused of committing a hate crime. Okay, let's make a Hitler toy. I'm starting with this blank Funko Pop toy. As always, links to the materials are in the video's description. I'm using Spackle for the hair. I like this brand because it changes color to let you know when it's dry and ready for sanding. I'll start with 80 grit sandpaper, move on to 150, and finally 220. The paint's going to pick up any imperfections, so be sure to sand it really, really well. I'm using acrylic paint for this project. Note that when it comes in tubes like this, the paint usually comes out fairly thick. We don't want that because it'll show your brush strokes, so be sure to thin out the paint first with a small amount of water. You could use a heat gun to speed up applying new coats. To give the clothing more dimension, I'm using this thin foam from the hobby store. These will be the lapels for his jacket. If the foam's going to sit on top of a different color, like we see here with the brown tie on top of the white shirt, be sure to paint the foam first before applying it. This will make your life easier, and you'll have a better result. You can be sure that you paint in the right places, like for these eyebrows, first draw on the boundaries in pencil. And give it a coat of varnish to protect the paint. But we're not done yet, let's give them a house. I scanned in this Funko Pop box and I'm editing it with GIMP. 
Here I'm getting the right font, size, and color to match the original design so that we have a legit looking box for our mini Fuhrer. And we'll want to design the avatar for the box. I'm using Funko's own website to assist with this. Get it as close as possible on that site and then finish off the other details with your image editor. Let's give him obligatory angry eyebrows. He's not here to make any friends. Hitler's Funko Pop number, check. Post-apocalyptic background, check. And a great title for the series, check. We don't want him to be too lonely though, so let's give him some pals. Let's print this out on some photo paper and then we'll trace out the shape of the box. And there you have it, the forbidden toy. I still feel like we're coming off as Nazis here. Any suggestions? Maybe we can just sing a song about how we're not Nazis. You can't sing a song about not being a Nazi. The first thing people will think is, yeah, they're probably Nazis. No, no, it's fine. So something like, uh, we are not Nazis. We like the Jews. Don't say Jews. I have many Jewish friends. Okay, no Jewish friends, but I'm sure they're good people. Not all of them. You can't generalize an entire group of people, including the Nazis. There were some good Nazis. There were no good Nazis. Warner Von Braun, he was a good Nazi. Can you not see that we're Nazi Nazis? Whoa, 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 stop the song. Did you just say we're Nazi Nazis? Like we're some kind of an ultra Nazi? What? No! No, I'm saying we're not the Nazis! Let's hear it again. Can you not see that we're Nazi Nazis? Yeah, there it is. You're totally saying we're Nazi Nazis. I don't know what you're hearing! I knew the song would be a bad idea. All right, it's all wrapped up and ready to go. Let's go see what he thinks. What does it say, Alex? Uh, for Alex, from Dad. And then, uh, Merry Christmas. Oh! Oh! I'm so smart. I'm a big brain. Merry Christmas. Oh, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I'm just seeing the top. I'm just seeing the top. And I'm absolutely loving this. Oh my god, this is the... <laughs> I love this so much. It's Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, it's got the, okay, okay. So, got the front. Uh -huh. uh, it's beautiful. I love him. <laughs> I love him so much. 666. Six, six. <laughs> yeah, the perfect. They got, got the before. side with like buildings destroyed in the background. Yeah. And then, then you have the back with uh, world's favorite dictators, Joseph Stalin, Mao Zedong, Benito Mussolini, I don't, I don't know how so, to pronounce that. The, the Italian dictator at the same yeah. time. Yeah, is his name Benito? Benito. That's a lame oh, name. Benny. He's also <laughs> El Duce. Uh, Saddam Hussein, yep. Kim Jong-un, and everyone's favorite. Donald everyone's Trump. favorite Everyone's favorite. Right there, yep. I'm telling you, it's too political. It's way too political. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it so much. It's, it's an unboxing. <laughs> it's an unboxing video. It's an unboxing, unboxing video. Hitler I'll Funko Pop. Like, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> a little armband. <laughs> oh my god. I even gave him the little uh, suspenders that he wears, like a little lanyard suspender sort of a thing that hooks onto his belt. I love it yeah, so like much. The most awesome thing. I love I it. I love it. <laughs> 
Oh my god, this is so, so cool. Should we sneak it into Target and stick it on a shelf and see if anybody knows? Yeah, put it get the box and everything. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! <laughs> Pop dictators. That's so cool. I love that. I love that. I love it too much, actually. <laughs> You'll get like a season of the Sist order within a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas. Thank you.